hi guys welcome to a vlog from prague i am very very excited to be here i don't think i've even mentioned really online anywhere that i'm coming here so a little bit of a rogue one although you've probably seen it on instagram by now but i have just arrived in prague old town me and my friend rachel are spending the next kind of like three four days here just exploring prague is not somewhere i've really thought about visiting before but then rachel and i were trying to plan a trip away over summer and the flights here were super cheap really affordable i've heard such good things about the city literally every single person i've told that i'm coming here has been like oh you'll really like it so we booked the flights we went to manchester and now we're here and actually not to drink the rest of the trip but so far everything has been such smooth sailing like it almost feels too good to be true but we've just checked into the hotel we're staying in the center of prague old town i'm not gonna lie it is more rach that's done the research into like where things are and what we're doing she's behind me hello mainly everything from this point onwards is rachel's planning uh i i started the flight we got here and now it's up to you really but yeah we're gonna head out it's like 4 p.m 4 30 pm 4 30 4 30 i don't know where the day has actually gone but um yeah we're gonna explore we're gonna go see like kind of where we're staying let me show you the view out the window look at this how nice are these buildings this is literally the view out of the hotel window and then down here you've got all like fresh food markets i'm particularly taken by this fresh fruit i really want to go down here and get like these can't tell if they're like nectarines or peaches but everything just looks so good I mean, this is literally the only part of prague i've seen so far but i am getting pretty good vibes this is what the room looks like i mean it's pretty small it's pretty basic however the view really makes up for it i absolutely love this window like i'm obsessed with like big floor to ceiling kind of windows these curtains this whole like european thing um and then also very conveniently there is a full length mirror right here. So this is the outfit I'm wearing. The top's from Pull and Bear, the shorts are from Cotton On. We actually managed to bring just one carry-on case between the two of us, which is pretty good going, but actually we packed it so well. Like I'm pretty proud of us. And then this is the bathroom. Here is Rachel. Nice bathroom. It is a nice bathroom, right? Yeah, it's really decent. The shower is, well, it's a shower, but it's- No, it's a nice shower. It is a nice shower. Pretty good, I'm pretty happy with this. It was a bargain as well, guys. Like mm -hmm. I think Prague is well known for being quite a cheap place to visit. However, so far, it's pretty good. Like, the hotel was pretty affordable getting from the airport wasn't too bad like everything's been geeky so hopefully that continues Feel it. The breeze brings guys this is prague's well what is it an astronomical clock yeah i don't know what it means i think it's this one here but it is also just a clock tower no, up no, here no, that's definitely this one i don't actually know what it means but it's clearly very famous because there's a lot of people here and it is listed as one of prague's top must do tourist attractions alongside this church which is the something about an old lady something about an old lady according to rachel no it's something Time. Tin? Late. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, something lady on the time. But not time that you The lady I forgot. The lady. Rachel's making this up as she goes along. No, Church of Our Lady before Tine or Tin. That is a long name for a church though. But nothing about an old lady. She wasn't old. Just a regular lady. Yeah. That is quite a mouthful actually. But let me show you it because it is pretty impressive. What I really like about all the buildings here guys is like the Eastern European style like gothic looking architecture. Oh, it's striking. Wait, maybe that's why everybody's yeah, watching. I think everyone gathered to the top of the hour and we just happened to be here. What a happy accident. Oh, it's five o'clock. Oh, there's a skeleton ringing a bell. Oh, everyone's clapping. Oh, we happened upon this at the right time. Oh, what a scary dog. I mean, we should know what it is. No, we want to be appreciated. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, can yeah, do yeah, some research. We can well. do some research. Yeah little change in appearance guys uh, i've actually got a bit of makeup on which i haven't really wore on holiday very much usually i'm too warm but it's like a good temperature here um but we have got ready to go out the evening we've kind of had a little explore of the old town scouted out some potential restaurant and i think we're just gonna head to maybe the square where the church was or somewhere around there but i'll show you my outfit in a second when i walk back past the mirror but Somewhere behind me is Rachel. But no, this is what the street looks like now. The market's sort of packing away. Um, and then like the main areas are kind of like, basically if you go down the street and left, the main tourist attractions are all there. So the location is actually really ideal. This is my outfit. You can't really see it. Oh, we've both got white on the bottom and then like halter um, kind of top. Oh, I should have worn a blue top. This is <laughs> So very quickly before we go out, this is a marginally better angle. The top is from Pull and Bear. This I think is from Hollister. And the bandana is actually from Claire's. 
So we are ready to go and I'm very hungry so I'm very excited. I can't tell you how happy I am that there's food in front of me. It looks so good. Ah. Rach has a veggie pizza. I have risotto, what a classic order. I hate that it never looks appetizing. You order risotto and it sort of looks like it's already been I thrown know, back up. Really tried. Like, yeah. This dish looks nice. It does. So you've got your greenery on top and it looks Oh, I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. Tonight the whiskey feels stronger Gasoline on hidden desires So Good morning guys, it's our second day in Prague. Uh, got up, had some breakfast, went to a really beautiful bakery that Rachel actually found on, just on Google I think, wasn't it? Yeah. It was called The Bake Shop, definitely recommend. And now we've headed to like the main shopping street. We haven't actually strayed away from the old town yet, so this is the first time we've been anywhere new, but I have just spotted a Bershka, so we're just popping in here. We are at the river because we have actually booked to do a little river cruise. I reckon it's probably on a boat that looks maybe like this one, maybe yeah, that one. It's that one, it's the glass like. Oh, it has a glass top. Yeah, because you said if it's raining, then they can yeah, put the roof it over. Not it's not raining. It's literally the opposite of raining. But I'm very excited to do this because I always feel like this is a really good way to see a city without like walking it all. Plus, you get to know a bit of history as well. So pretty excited. We just need to find the right place now. But I think we're on time. We're not late. And um, yeah, it also includes food. So we're gonna get lunch. Even though we just had a massive breakfast and I've actually not that hungry, but I'm excited. <laughs> beautiful this is guys. Rachel and I were just saying every single building in the city that we've seen is like immaculately clean. That's something I've really, really noticed so far. so beautiful like we've explored a fair amount of it and obviously we saw quite a lot of it from the boat as well and like everywhere we've been we've just been like oh my gosh this is so stunning and i do know that i say that about most places <laughs> that i go however this really is a very nice capital city like i don't know what i was expecting i really had no expectations to be honest but it sort of is exceeding them so nice and warm so just oh, everything is just so pretty We are in Prague Castle. Also, I've tied my hair off and it looked really bald, but um, we just happened upon it when basically there was like some kind of a concert going on. So we've been sat here listening to, is it Beethoven? Beethoven. <laughs> is it Beethoven? Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. There's like posters of people, I don't really, I don't really Classical know. music basically being played live from, I think, potentially up here in this window but just sounded very lovely and there's been a really nice like atmosphere throughout the whole city like Rachel did make a good point there's been just live music or like classical music playing in random places that we've been the whole time that we've been here but we only sat here because basically on the way up to the castle is a lot of the stairs and I am incredibly unfit and I was like I need to sit down when we get to the top because obviously it's like 33 degrees right now a lot of stairs it was warm um, but we have we've recovered we've sat down we've listened to some music and we're gonna head into like the actual castle we haven't actually seen it yet but it's quite famous and it is kind of like set up from the city you can like see it so i think probably worth a visit if you are heading here but i'm excited to see what it actually looks like because so far we've just looked at this courtyard which has been very nice but we're gonna we're gonna head we're gonna move now but we're really enjoying that is pretty spectacular looks kind of like a church but it's actually the castle I know, everywhere we've been has been so quiet and I don't even just mean quiet as in there's not many people although you can see there are not many people but like it's actually generally it really is a very very quiet very polite city but this is really 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 impressive every bit of architecture that we have walked past both of us have been like that is just insane a little bit of history for you it is the castle but it's also a cathedral and I did actually read that it was made by Peter Parker originally until I reread that clearly not but um it's very interesting actually you can pause to read it if you want to if you don't we're gonna head inside it Hello guys, it has been a little while. I've actually washed my hair. Also, I'm super overexposed. One sec. That's better. Um, I've washed and dried my hair. We've got changed. We're gonna head out. Are we eating at the hotel place? Uh, I'm gonna have a thing tonight. 
You don't think tonight? Oh, we've debated this all day yesterday, all day today. So I'm easy either way, but um, yeah, just had a few hours just chilling, just recharging. We've walked like 15,000 steps around the city today, which isn't loads, but it is quite a lot when it's very warm. Um, and also a lot of the castle was uphill, so my legs were hurting, but we've rested, we're ready to go out. Um, oh, this is my... This is my outfit of the day. Skirt is from Bershka, I think, but this is really old. I haven't worn it in a while. And then I actually got this top in America, but I just feel like it's quite holiday-y, like patchwork vibe. And then, yeah, my hair's very curly, very, well, no, it's not. I wish it was very frizzy, so I've tied it up. And then we're gonna head out. I am excited because I'm hungry um, and the vibe in Prague in an evening is just really nice like I love the whole European like sitting outside culture everybody's drinking like Aperol spritz and like it's just good vibes and I think that's when I enjoy being abroad the most <laughs> Two wines and I start vlogging the fish. <laughs> Just had a feeling this this fish wanted to be in the vlog. We have come to a jazz bar. Day three or day two? Kind of day three. Day day two full day. Day two, second full day. Uh, we've woken up, the weather is not as good, but it's okay because we've kind of planned around that. Rachel was the weather forecast queen. <laughs> and, uh, I was checking twice a day. <laughs> hey, but it worked. It did, because we planned, because we knew it was gonna be the worst day weather-wise today, to do the indoor activities, so we're gonna be heading to some museums. There are a lot of cool museums here in Prague, like a lot of cool, very different museums as well. Um, so which one are we heading to first? I forget exactly what it's called. It's like the Illusion Art Gallery. That was it. Um, that, which is like a minute walk. Literally next door to the hotel. So we're gonna head there. And then by the time we've come out, fingers crossed the weather might have perked up a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna head to the Communist Museum. Museum of Communism. Museum of Communism, <laughs> right, off we go. Guys, we have walked over to the other side of the city and still there's just no people around. Look at this, we have passed like a total of about 20 different people. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but there really is not that many people when you consider this is its capital city and it's like, it's a work day and it's the capital city and there's just nobody here. Maybe everyone's at work. Maybe everybody is at work. Guys, I will chat to you a bit about the Communism Museum in a minute. Firstly, we're having brunch. I'm gonna go with brunch because it's not really lunchtime, but it sort of is lunchtime. This looks insane. We've both got avocado on toast, but mine's got cheese. Rachel's has got egg on the top. We've got smoothies, sitting in the sun. We're going to the Illusion Museum. I did. Yeah, yeah, we went, we didn't go to the Illusion Museum. We did a little jump, we skipped, we swapped it around. Um, but yeah, I will update you about that afterwards. First, any tweet. A little bit delayed, but now we're in the Optical Illusion Art Museum. This is where we were going to start, but we ended up doing it the other way around. So what you're going to see for the next couple of clips is probably a load of optical illusions, and apparently they all look better through the lens of a camera, so it's handy that I've got this. Guys, this is one of the wildest ones in here. Look at this, it's like a child's bedroom. And then in the next breath. What the hell? on the floor guys because this is the best angle but um however i told you that i would update you because basically everything i said in the, in the clip this morning kind of went out the window as soon as we went outside and we did change our plan i'm sorry about the curtain by the way this is just the like you know one of these basically we decided to go to the museum of communism first which rachel had done some research slash heard about from your friend that went to prague 
Yeah. Yeah. So we headed there. I did not know what to expect. And to be honest, I don't think either of us really knew much history about the Czech Republic other than I knew that up until fairly recently it was called Czechoslovakia and that was all I really knew. And by recently, I mean 1993, so not that recently. However, it was so, so interesting. It was basically to do with like the Czech Republic's part in what was then like the Soviet Union and the communism that went with the Cold War and all the stuff like that. I don't want to get too heavily into it because I don't want to butcher it and get the history wrong. But you guys know that I love a museum and I do like to learn a little bit more about the places that I'm in, especially if you're like there taking in their culture and you're experiencing like their life. I think it's good to know a little bit about the past and actually I was really shocked and really surprised um, to like learn about what went on in this country and the neighbouring countries until like fairly recently like we're talking this didn't really change until like the 80s obviously it was kind of like progressive from like the 60s to the 80s things were changing but like that's recent history that is not like you know oh way back when this belonged to whichever country it's like a, a recent thing that's definitely going to have affected the population that still live here today so yeah really interesting really really not what I was expecting slash I didn't really know anything about it and I do think if you come into Prague and you have like an interest in like history and the cold war and the second world war it's 100 percent worth a visit like it is a good museum and i've been to a fair few so i feel like i can say that it was a good museum then we went to the illusion museum definitely shift of tone uh 100 very arty very different uh, yeah we were like woo uh, okay moving on from that straight to this and um yeah it was really fun definitely more child friendly if you're coming with like younger people or kids um a bit more hands-on a lot more hands-on just a good time really i think the thing i can compare it to the most is the camera obscura museum in edinburgh um i have vlogged in there but it was years ago it was actually five years ago today coincidentally but it, it was very like trick of the light trick of the eye it was very good and then i didn't vlog this one guys uh we went to the sex machine museum which is <laughs> A total shift of tone again. Uh, we were having a museum day and that one wasn't originally on the list but we kept walking past it because it's near our hotel. All I'm really going to say is if you've ever been to Amsterdam it's very similar to the ones they have there. Educational, tiny bit funny, tiny bit educational. Main, mainly we were just sort of like what the actual heck is going on here. Um, <laughs> and then we left. <laughs> What more do you say? I don't know how else to describe it to be honest. <laughs> Shifting gears again. We're now going to a classical music concert. Yeah. <laughs> we bought tickets the day that we got here to a classical music concert that's actually happening in the church this evening, so the big church. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> I just don't know what we've done today. It's been, it honestly has been the biggest like, oh, and change gear, change gear, change gear again. And it's like, I, I don't actually know, like the, the first museum was sad, the second museum was fun, the third museum I was like, what the heck is going on? And then now I'm kind of like, oh, classical music. But we love a variety. Get yourself a girl that can do all four. <laughs> It's been chaotic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's been it's been good. Yeah, it's I been mean, good. It, it, it's been different. <laughs> we it's just came different. up with the third place. Like, uh, <laughs> we didn't really talk about it. What's that to say? I don't know. I I can't put into words. <laughs> it's basically, actually, if you've ever been to Prague and you've ever been, let me know, and then you'll know. You'll know. <laughs> I feel like the only way to describe it is to, to say go to it yourself. Like, yeah. Wowie. You had to be 18 to enter, by the way, so... <laughs> Not that they checked. They didn't check. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't include this. Uh, yeah, we're now heading to the church. <laughs> no, now we're going to the hotel for dinner. We are. Which is long overdue because every single night we're like, are we going to the hotel for dinner? And I'm like, yeah, and then an hour later we... We change we our mind. Don't. But it does look quite good. It's just hard to find veggie food. It is. Italian. So this is our third Italian on a row. <laughs> we're both vegetarian though, so I feel like that is helping. Because if yeah. I was here with anybody else that wasn't veggie, I always feel a bit like, oh, I, I don't want to complain. But we're both in the same boat, so that has made it very nice actually, and it means it's easier. But yeah, we're heading there, and then after that, we're going to go see some music. So I'm excited to film that. Very different night, very varied day. Just like, <laughs> yeah. whoa. Anyway, let's go have some food. Rich is just like, we don't need another picture of another Italian. She's right. <laughs> Also, the light on you right now. I'm so jealous. Rich is sat in the prime spot. Now, there's someone upset. Have your moment. Bask in it. It's fine. Rachel's got the knocky. Um, I want to make a Gavin and Stacey joke, but I don't think you've seen Gavin and Stacey, have you? I wouldn't. It'd be wasted. 
Well, if you know, you know. <laughs> I've got pomodoro, uh, which is very basic. But I actually haven't had pasta since I got here yet, so it's not too bad, and it looks very good. Guys, we're trying to get a nice photo, and it's not working because obviously there's nobody here. It's being embarrassing. There's nobody else with us to take a photo of us. So we've tried to ask a few strangers on this trip. Also, where are you looking here? I am looking. Like like <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking at the screen, but we should be looking at the camera. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we tried to ask a few people, didn't we? Yesterday we asked a couple on the boat. So, it was just it was bad, so bad. bad. It was so bad. Um, what was even bad about this? Okay. Well, we were standing in front of like a really nice view, and it was literally mainly the boat floor and us, um, and then yeah. no view. Yeah, but to be fair, they couldn't control the elements, and the wind was like blowing True. our hair here, there, and everywhere. True. I just looked horrible. And I knew when they were taking them, they were like way over here. And it was all my eyes. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then the only one that's nice, both of our hair is like not good. So we want a nice photo, but we don't need to ask. So we tried to take one on self time, and that was not good either. Also, I just I was like this. Yeah, it's like, all because I was so embarrassed. Self time of photos are just so, never the one. If you see a photo from this trip on Instagram, just know that you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> it was slim. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very impressive church with a very impressive ceiling actually. I don't even know what to do with myself. These are actually insane. This is the most insane dessert I've ever had and they're everywhere in Prague. Rachel and I have seen them every day and I was like, no, I have to get one before I leave. And now here we go. <laughs> So by happy mistake, we've come out for a gin and tonic. Uh, it's our last night, so we were like, let's go have a gin by the hotel. We ordered pink gins, they didn't have it, so they were like, oh, we'll give you extra normal gin. And then to apologise even further, as if that wasn't enough, they brought us shots. And this is just by happy mistake, so... Shots of... Shots of caramel aperitif is what he said. It does smell quite nice. <laughs> he said that after yesterday. Yeah, yesterday on the boat tour, when we got on, we thought it was like Prosecco, or like maybe cider or something. Anyway, it tasted like drinking pie. Perfume. It was the worst thing I've ever drank in my life. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Do a little cheers. Okay. okay, maybe sip it. Do you sip an apparently? Or do you shot it? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. That is very Christmassy. <laughs> oh, you too. That is a Christmassy drink. I like that. Guys, we are in the National Museum of Prague, and um, so nice. I really, so really think this might be one of the nicest buildings I've actually ever been in. Let me show you this. Like, I'm sorry, what? This is insane. I've just made a direct comparison to Hogwarts and said I think it actually is nicer than Hogwarts. Not that I've ever been, but it's given strong like Hogwarts Gryffindor common room vibes, and I am good. I'm good with that. It's crazy everywhere you look. Just look at how ornate this is. Shook. Although we haven't actually found any of the museums museum bit yet, have we? Uh, no, <laughs> this is worth it. This is worth it. We've, yeah, we've seen it, we're good. Yeah, no, but where is it? Like, Shall we try this room? We'll try this room. So we have no, we should have got a map. That is a big woolly mammoth. <laughs> There's been a bit of a time jump. Yeah, I, I didn't film very much today, it's fair to say. I think there was like a little compilation of us in the museum, um, and then uh, maybe a few clips from the airport. Mm -hmm. Generally, not a lot. Uh, That's because we were just enjoying the last day. And yeah, basically, we, we went to the National Museum of Prague, I feel a couple of hours ago. Anyway. Was a couple of, are you joking? It feels like last week. Do you think? Yeah. I think today has gone so speedy. It was like this morning we were walking around the museum and now it's 7 pm and I'm in my car in Manchester. No, it feels like ages ago that we were there. Yeah, it has been a weird day. It's been a long day actually. But to its credit, the flight <laughs> so smooth. It was so. I just. 
I feel like, oh, fingers crossed, though, because things could still go wrong. There is time. But so far, it's been so good. I don't want to have just jinxed it. Yeah. And all day, we've been like, no, nope, don't even say it, don't even say it. Because we have had the smoothest sailing trip of yeah. all trips, haven't we? Yeah. Like, oh, it's 100%. 100%. That's the present of the trip. Yeah, 100%. Wow and ornate. Ornate, wow, and 100%. They're three words to somewhat Prague, really. <laughs> and if it's more than 100%, it's 100 million. 100 million percent. <laughs> no, honestly, everything has been such smooth sailing, it's actually frightening. Both airport experiences, both on Sunday and today, everything lovely, went to plan lovely. and i love it when that happens okay, the reason i'm filming in the car now is because we're about to set off home and i'm gonna end the vlog here so that i don't forget to do it because you you guys know that i am the queen of forgetting to end the vlogs so this is the end of the prague vlog i've had such a good time i've had a lovely time i felt a bit emotional last night actually when i was in the square yeah and we believe but it. you were just like i need a wee and all <laughs> I was like, let's give it a minute. Rachel was like, let's see a look at the church. And I was like, I don't want to wee myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I loved it. It loved was it. a great, great trip. It a great was. holiday. It Everything really went was. smoothly. Could yeah. Not a bad word. Not a bad not word. A bad and the word. city itself, honestly, if you've been. No, that's just, what I'm talking about. I thought you meant the whole trip. Oh, right. Okay, yes. The whole trip. The whole trip from start to finish. But also, if you're thinking of visiting Prague, definitely, definitely do yes. it. I think yes. that you will be pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, it was one of my favorite European cities I've probably ever visited. Same. But yeah, Same. we're going to head home now. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> a little bit different to any of my other travel vlogs. Got Rachel in it instead of Tom or my family. So that's been a nice change. <laughs> um, how do we usually end a video? <laughs> Give the vlog a thumbs do up. Do you do all that? Sometimes. Uh, hey, thanks. Are you sure how often you watch? <laughs> do you say that? What's your channel called? What? You do YouTube? No, um, <laughs> no, because yesterday when we were watching, no, oh, yesterday when we were last in Manchester, we were watching all of those like uh, old videos. Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no, I'm not like, give, give a thumbs up and oh, watch. I meant I of us, I'm not just being mean to you. No, we were watching our or, our own old videos yeah. back, which never should see the light of day. No, 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 no. And we were showing them to a third party. We were showing them to Rachel's brother, and I gave myself the ick so bad. Yeah, but yeah, no. Yeah, no. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, Comment, turn on the notifications. Subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> I know, subscribe if you want to see some more travel vlogs. There are plenty on my channel and there will be more to come in the future. But other than that, I am going to go. We're going to head home. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.